Time now for a DuramaxTuner.com Apache build update. Here's the latest on DuramaxTuner.com's Apache build project. The plan is simple. Take the body of a 58 Apache and bolt it to the frame of a total 2500 series truck. Drop a Duramax into it, put a ZF6 behind it, new paint, new tires, set it up and go pulling. Today we're on the frame rack with the Apache. Because the truck got hit in the front end, it's a little bit tweaked and we got it up on the frame rack. We're just gonna get it pulled out straight. So I have Brett with me here today and he's gonna show me kind of what the frame rack's about and what we're doing here. This thing's swayed over this way. So now we got tension pulling forward here and sideways over there. Okay. It's tied down on four corners. Okay. Um, so right now we got almost... Let's show those tie down points. We weld these brackets onto the frame. So it holds it in four points there. Okay. We also got chains going across here. So they're pulling that way, the truck will not shift. We got everything tied down from here back, squared up. So as that goes over, it cannot move anything else off the frame rack. So we have the center line gauges. We got three of them set up. What they're made for is basically as you're going, as you're pulling, you have three different variations of moving center line. So it'll tell us where the front is sitting to the left, to the right. So when this 2003 chassis was first delivered to Brett, um, Obviously, it had been hit very hard in the front end, Get out here and the frame rail was was buckled. I mean, noticeably via the eyeball. So what they did the first time was bring it in, just kind of eyeball it, right? tug it out, um, get it so they can set the set the body on it, and uh, get back to work on it. Now what we're doing today is the final pull on the truck. So everything has to be you know, within spec on this pull because we're done after this. We're going to start getting the mounts, you know completed, situated, gusseted. Um, there's no grinding and re-welding hopefully after this one. The next step in the process is to verify that we're true corner to corner. And that measurement needs to be within three millimeters. The completion of our measurement determined that we were two millimeters. Right. So we're good, we're within spec, it's time to move on. Two episodes ago, you saw us take delivery of the Apache's new engine. And really, for the past few weeks, it just sat on the engine stand. We're waiting for top end parts. So what we're going to do this week is pull the engine and trans out of the Apache, bring it back to our shop and disassemble it. That way we can clean up the top end parts, powder coat them, and get them ready for assembly so that when this body is done being painted, the engine is ready to go. Pulling the engine out of the donor in Apache is a pretty straightforward process. First Owen's going to take whatever remaining pieces are connected to the engine, radiator hose, wiring harness, that kind of stuff and just get that out of the way. Next he's going to put the truck up, drop the transfer case, pull the ZF trans off, put the truck back down, get the forklift out, hook everything up, buzz those last couple of motor mount bolts loose and pull that thing out with the forklift. Then we load it into our Dodge, take it back home. And what we have coming up for you in the next few weeks is some really, uh, really cool motor stuff. So we're going to be selecting a turbocharger, headers and up pipes, most of the top end air, fuel and injectors. And then we have some cool driveline parts we want to share with you. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching.